Okay, so today we're going to look at some new features added to Android and Google TV versions 13 and 14. I'm not sure if these have been implemented on other versions, but please let us know if they have. So what we've got, I found in the UK is this channels section has been added to mine. So you've got a list of UK channels that you can stream directly. Now I'm showing you this from an ONN 4K Pro Box that was kindly sent across from the States to me by Cold Cutters LI. So we're going to go into this further. Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So, as I say, I turned on my ONN 4K box today. This is the end of October 2024. And I noticed underneath your apps a channel section. And when we go into these, what these do is these actually load up the relevant app to be able to stream these channels, namely like the BBC. It'll go into BBC iPlayer. And here it is streaming. I've had to blur it out because I don't have the rights to show it but straight away within a couple of seconds it started streaming. Now if I press the home button on the remote control go across now to BBC2 highlight it middle button and let's just see what happens. So yeah as you can see now it is actually streaming BBC2. Press the home button again on the remote. Now if I go to ITV1 unfortunately it tells me that ITVX isn't compatible with this device. Now, this is because this particular device was shipped over from the States and really is designed for use in the States. And ITVX haven't licensed the ONN 4K Pro Box to be used with the ITVX app. I have side loaded ITVX, which works, but this channel section doesn't pick that up. However, I have installed the STV app. It allowed me to install this directly from the Google Play Store. So go into STV and let's just see it opens up STV and straight away it's streaming what's on STV. Now, STV is the Scottish version of ITV. So bottom line is 99% of what's on ITV will be on STV. S4C, let's just go into that. That is going to load up the BBC iPlayer. And there we go. It's streaming. Again, I've had to blur these out. I do apologize. I can't actually show you these. If I go into BBC Alba, again, that is going to take us into the iPlayer. It does seem to be, there you go, it's streaming. It does seem to be the very first time you go into one of these channels. It does take a little bit longer to get started as it's got to load up the app from scratch. But once you're in it, if if you just press the home button on the remote control to go back to the main menu, the app still seems, seems to stay running in the background and it's much, much quicker to get going. So let's try BBC Scotland again, going into the iPlayer and there we go. It's now streaming BBC Scotland. Let's home button again. If I go into ITV2, this is not going to let us watch ITV2 because ITV2 to stream that live, you do need ITVX. BBC4 is going to take you into the BBC iPlayer. Unfortunately, ITV3 is part of ITVX, so that isn't going to work. If I go into Quest, that gives me the option to install the Discovery Plus app. Unfortunately, I don't have a Discovery Plus subscription. The same with really, if I try and go into that, it's going to try and get me to install Discovery Plus. But unfortunately, again, don't have a login for that. BBC Three, that's going to take us straight to the iPlayer and start streaming BBC Three. At the moment, I'm recording this in the daytime, BBC Three, only runs from 7 p.m. So we're just getting this screen saying that it's off air at the moment. ITV4 and ITVB again are part of ITVX and unfortunately can't be streamed direct from here. You have to go through the app manually. Now you might have noticed there are a few channels missing off of here, namely channel four and channel five. 
Also, there's the UK TV channels such as You and Dave, You and Drama, You and W, and You and Yesterday. And also, a new one is You and Eden, which uh, should be coming to the streaming platforms quite shortly. Now, at the time of recording this video, I've got no word to when these are going to become available on this channel list or if they indeed ever are going to become available. It's really between Google TV and those channel companies to come to an agreement to have them added on there. So as I say, a great little addition and I'm surprised that most of these do actually work on my ONN 4K Pro Box, which came from America because the box really isn't designed to be used in the UK, but it seems to be that you can get most of the major channels. Like I say, you can get all the BBC channels. That's they seem to work. STV you can get, which is the Scottish version of, of ITV. It may be worth if you have got one of these boxes and these don't work. Try side loading the apps on and see if they work. You can go to my website and uh, have a look at that. The downloader code is 21203 or you can go to cwtek.co.uk forward slash D where you will find versions of these that you can side load onto the Google or Android TV. Let us know as well if you've got these channels in the comments down below. Let us know if you can, what Android version you're running. If you wanna know how to do that, then just press the home button on the remote. Go across to the cog just over there. Go into the settings cog just up there to go to all settings. Go down to system, then across to about, and then go down to Android TV OS version. An actual fact, sorry, I didn't realize I have got version 12 on here. So this definitely works on Android TV version 12, 13, and 14. If you've got an earlier version, seven, eight, nine, 10, or 11, then let us know if it's appeared on yours.